Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to look at how to carry out JWT authentication on, with Django REST Framework. So we're going to be looking at how we can be able to carry out this authentication using our custom user model. So right here, I have the documentation of simple JWT or Django REST Framework simple JWT that's going to provide us with this mechanism of creating tokens. We will as well have the documentation of JOSA. So I'm going to be making use of Yosa that's going to allow us to create these endpoints that are going to enable us to create our tokens, refresh them, as well as verify our tokens. So the first thing we're going to do is to look at how to set up Yosa. So I'm going to go to our Yosa documentation. So this is getting started. So right now, when I go to the introduction, we have something like uh, the REST implementation of Django's authentication system. So Yosa allows us to have our authentication system of Django uh, with REST endpoints. So what I mean is we have different REST endpoints that help us to carry out the different things that we carry out on our default user model. The good thing with Josa is that you can as well use it with our custom user model. So let's go ahead and look at how we can set this up. So we need to go to the get started section and these are some of the endpoints we have. So we have those specific to creating users, those ones that return users information, resetting passwords and so on. We also have those ones that can enable you to log in and log out using the token based authentication. Now in this video we're going to look at those that allow us to carry out JSON web token authentication. So what we're going to do is to head over to the setting up. So the first thing we're going to do is to install Josa. So I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to go pull up my terminal so I'll stop our server. And then I'll put in our command, so it's command not found, so I'm basically going to add our JOSA. So it seems like I already have it installed. Now what I'm going to do is to go ahead and also install our simple JWT, our Django REST Framework simple JWT. So I'm going to copy this command and paste it right in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to pip freeze this, so I'll say pip freeze and then add them to our requirements.txt so file. So that's going to add them to our Django, I mean our requirements.txt so file. So right after doing that, then the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is to set up our JOSA. So I'm going to head over to the configuration. So the first thing we're going to do is to add it to our installed app. So I'm going to go to our settings within our PISA project. And then what I'll do is to add it as a third party app. So I'm going to add Josa. And hoping that everything is fine, we are going to also set up our URLs. So these are the best URLs that come with Josa. However, we are interested in the JWT URLs. So I need to go to the section that contains our authentication backends. So now we have uh, our authentication backend. So this is for the token based authentication that requires you to have REST framework and then REST framework with auth token. However, what you want in this video is the ones for the JWT authentication. So what we're going to do is to add this to our settings. So I'm going to head over to our install app section and within our REST framework dictionary, we're going to add another setting, which is going to be our default. So this is going to be our default authentication classes. So we're going to have, uh, it's going to be authentication classes and then on this, we're going to make a tuple containing all the authentication classes. So I'm going to copy the REST framework simple JWT dot authentication dot JWT authentication. And this is going to allow us to use Django simple, Django REST framework simple JWT to cr create our JWT. So I'm basically going to first come and paste it in here. So I'm going to add it. So it's going to be a string. So basically, so after adding it, let me fix this. I'm going to go ahead and fix this space. So we need to fix this spacing. And we have something like this. So after adding this uh, authentication class, we're going to also go ahead and set up our URLs for JWT. So before that, we do that, we're also going to set up our auth header types. So Django REST Framework Simple JWT provides us with a way we can customize our headers so as to be able to pass our access tokens while making requests. So in this case, we have our auth header types as JWT, but our example app is going to use a bearer 
header title. I'm going to copy this setting. I'm going to add it to our setting.py. And then what I'll do is specify that in our case, we're going to use our bearer. So I'm going to change this, so this is going to be a bearer. So right after doing this, and the next thing we're going to do is to specify the URLs that we need for our JWT authentication. So what I'm going to do is to come right here and copy these URLs. So I'm not copying the URLs for JOSA, the JOSA URLs, because they are the base URLs and we do not need them. What we need is the JOSA JWT URLs. So we need to add them onto our installed, I mean our URLs. So I'm going to go to our main URLs.py within our PISA project. And right in here, I'm just simply going to paste this. So I'll put them on the auth endpoint since all of our authentication, uh, all of our authentication URLs are located with, on the URLs with a slash auth prefix. So I'll add path. And when I add, then I'm going to simply come and add this. So I'll include jz.urls.jwt and hoping that everything is fine. Uh, we're going to check this out, so I'm going to run our server again. Uh, but before you go ahead and do that, I'll also check for that simple JWT. So there may be certain configurations that you meet, for example, uh, how to set up the lifetime of our tokens. Uh, we're going to check out how to do that. So I'm going to come right here in our settings.py. So right here we have these different settings. So what I'm going to do is to copy some of these settings and then be able to add them within our settings.py. So the first thing we're going to do is to specify the access token lifetime as well as the refresh token lifetime. So what I'm going to do is to add them. So I'll go to settings.py and within our simple JWT, what I'll add is our access token lifetime. So I'll say access. So this basically specifies how long our token will be valid. So this is going to be our access token lifetime. And then this is going to be a uh, a time delta. So what we're going to do is to first import time delta from dead time. So I'm going to say from dead time. We're going to import uh, time delta. And right after doing that, we're going to create uh, an object of time delta. So we're going to pass in our time delta. And then we're going to specify the amount of time this is going to be valid. So for our example here, we have minutes is equal to five. That's the access token lifetime. And then we also have the refresh token lifetime as one day. So what we're going to do is to specify that in our case, we're going to have uh, days. So we're going to specify days and we shall say one. Then we're going to do the same thing for our refresh token lifetime. So I'm going to copy this and paste this. So while well, change is the access is the refresh token, so I'm going to change this to refresh token. Uh, it's going to be refresh token lifetime. So I'm going to come right here and basically add this. So right after doing this, I'm going to save and hoping that our server is running. I'm going to run Python 3, I mean Python, money.py, and then run server. So our server is running, therefore we don't have any error. So what I'll do is to go to our endpoints of uh, slash auth. So we're going to access the following endpoints. I'm going to head over to our JOSA docs. And what I'm going to do is to go to our JWT endpoints. So we have these following JWT endpoints. We have the JWT create endpoint that takes in our username field, which is our email in this case, and our password. And then if everything is fine, if this user with the following credentials exists, we can be able to return a token pair. So by token pair, I mean the access token, which is going to allow them access to the protected route, as well as a refresh token that's going to allow us to refresh or to create a new token in case our token has expired. So this is important uh, for security reasons. So we also have, uh, in case we don't have a successful error, we're going to throw an authorized error. Then we also have that next endpoint as the one for refreshing our token. So it's basically going to take in the refresh token and then return in an, a fresh access token. We also have that one that's going to verify whether our tokens are valid or not, and therefore takes the token and then returns a status code of 200 if the token is valid. So let's go ahead and try to implement this. So I'm going to go to our URLs. So the first URL I'm going to visit is the one for creating a token. So this is going to be for create a token. 
So right now we even see that we have method not allowed. See, this is because it's a post endpoint by default. So I need to come and provide uh, the credentials. So I need to make the admin login. So for example, admin dot app admin and app dot home. Then I'm going to provide that password as the password I'm going to provide is going to be the password of the admin, which is password one two three, and then I'll go ahead and post. So after posting, we get our token pair, which is going to provide us with our refresh and our access token. So I need to copy our access token right here. And what I'm going to do is to basically use this to create our, actually I'm going to copy our refresh token. So I need to copy our refresh token. So I'm going to come right here. And what I'm going to do is to basically use this refresh token to create a fresh access token so i'm going to open up a new tab so i'm going to open up a new tab right here so i'm going to actually move this this side so this is going to be for localhost localhost 8000 so in this case we're going to go to localhost 8000 then you're going to go to slash o and slash jwt and then refresh so this endpoint is going to take in a refresh type json web token and then return an access token. So what we're going to do is to provide our refresh token. So I'm going to paste in our refresh token. And when I post this, we are going to get an error. So this error is specific to Django REST framework simple JWT. So after Googling and reading on Stack Overflow, I realized that the thing we need to do is to downgrade to an earlier version of Pi JWT. So Django simple General Framework Simple JWT uses uh, the PyJWT module to carry out the JWT, to sign our JWTs, to create them and refresh them and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is to basically install an earlier version of PyJWT. So I'll come to my terminal right here, and what I'll do is to look for a command. So this is going to be a PyJWT. So what we have is to install the PyJWT version 2.1.0 and then it's going to work. So you need to say no and what I'll do is to install this. So I need to go ahead and install this. And this is going to basically install PyJWT 2.1.0. So I'll go ahead and freeze this. So I'll go pip freeze. Sorry for this. It's going to be pip freeze and then we're going to freeze this to our requirements.txt. So when you do pip list, we can see that we have our pi JWT version 2.1.0. So hoping that everything is fine, when we run our server again, we don't have error. So when I go back right here and I refresh, we're going to continue. And in this case, we've got an access token. So now this has worked. So let's also try out that one to basically make uh, sure to basically verify if our token is valid or not. So what I'll do is to create a new tab. So I'm going to go to is local host. So I'm going to go to local local host. This is going to be eight thousand, and then slash auth, then slash jwt, then slash. So this is going to be very verified. And when I enter, I'm going to simply provide our uh, access token. So I need to copy this refresh token. And when I copy this refresh token, what I'm going to do is to basically come right here and post. So I'm going to send a post request. So right here, I will have a type object, black listed token has no attribute, token. I mean objects. So what you have here is this error. So we have attribute error at the JWT verify endpoint, and you have type object of blacklisted token has no attribute object. And when you look into this error, this is an error specific to Django REST framework simple JWT. So what you have here is black blacklisted token at the objects dot filter then dot exist and yet this doesn't exist so according to the settings of Django simple JWT we have a, a certain setting called the blacklist after rotation equal to false and after reading various github issues we 
basically got to the fact that the solution to this error is to set this setting to false so I'm going to basically add this to our settings.py I'm going to add this to our settings.py and then this is going to be equal to false so when you try again when you try creating our when you try verifying our endpoint again our JWT I mean I'm going to continue Right now we see that it's returning a 200 OK error, meaning that our token has been verified. So in this video we've been looking at how to create our JWTs and how to refresh them as well as to verify our JWTs. So basically our video has been uh, about JWT authentication. Thank you for watching guys and if you like this video please leave a like as that helps me out and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.